see where this goes. Yes, sir. Sound good to you? Yes, sir. All right, Jordan. We have uh, Florida State, Miami, Doak Campbell Stadium. Tell me uh, your thoughts, feelings, locker room, pregame. I mean, all the things leading up to it. Um, well, it's something I dreamed of since I was a little boy. Um, I've disliked Miami my whole life. So getting the opportunity to play them in, a, in Doe Campbell uh, was special. Uh, the locker room before, obviously, there's a lot of hype around. The guys are jumping around, pumped up. To be able to come into this game, all the, the experiences that we had had up in, in the season and seeing the growth, seeing the response, you know, the, the way our guys prepared for, for this one, I just uh, I knew there was something special. The atmosphere, it just the, the smoke, the crowd going crazy. Running out on the field, I get chills every single time because it's real. It's like, it's, it's my dream. I'm running out on the field. I'm about to go play this game. So I was uh, beyond excited. You know, that game, that, you know, that environment, the atmosphere was incredible. I mean, it was special. And there's a reason why we've all been brought here together. Mike, check, one, two. It was a I'll tell you. Committed to the process, committed to the climb. Good job! Full speed! We never quit. That's gonna reveal your identity. Good speed. I was uh, clarifying. <laughs> that looks like Florida State football. First three and out, uh, you know, just how we just how we drew it up and wanted to start it. But uh, what, what's going through your mind as you know you're about to get the ball for the first series? But yeah, just trying to get the old line ready. Get them pumped up, ready to go. Um, get all the boys on the bench, just ready to roll. You know, tell me your thoughts. Uh, you know, as you get into a game, I mean, here you go. You know, good decision. You know, got a run pass option. Uh, you, you know, they they do a good job taking away the perimeter. And here's your first carry of the game. I mean, you know, starting off the game with an explosive run uh, gets a gets a nice start, right, huh? Yes, <laughs> sir. 100. percent I gotta get the ball up for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Flow of that game really kind of mimic a lot of things that we've had to 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 experience and overcome. You know, we jumped out to a to a, uh, a lead early. Uh, you know, here, uh, you know, getting you out on the perimeter, and well, just sometimes you just got to make it, you know make it happen on your own. They do a good job covering things on the on on the edge. And wh what'd you see? Um, they covered everything pretty well. Um, the O line got out, stayed on their blocks. You could see Dylan blocking the guy into the end zone. Just trying to get vertical and get as many yards as possible, or lose any yards, and put my head down and get in the end zone. Yes, and touchdown, Florida State. Touchdown, Seminoles. Opening drive against the game. If you run, run to the garnet, you're going to be good, right? Yes, sir. And that the, the quarterback position, you know, they it has to show up because you know, much like the head coach, if if you don't, you know. That position can't do what is being asked. It's going to be hard for anybody that's to, that's going to be willing to follow it. Be left. Be right. Hey. Snatch. Hey. Hey guys, it makes you. Good. Good. Boom. Boom. I wish it was more like this in this profession where you get to see that full progression, you know, and then one of the reasons why consistency is so important because you get to see how that impacts a young man. He's a special young man and you know, you can see that confidence, you know, really, um, you know, starting to kind of gleam out, you know, you know, out from him. Uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that's going to put you in a, in a great position to win games. Travis on the rollout to the front right pylon, diving catch. That's a touchdown for the freshman Malik McClay. Became confident in not just his ability as a runner, but as a passer. Travis, there he goes. In the open field, looking for the end zone. He will not be caught. The growth that he's had and the development, uh, you, know, you know, as a passer. Travis mostly on the ground, now trying to do it here through the air. He's going to lob one, looking for the end zone. Drops it in to Ontario Wilson for the touchdown. <laughs> Hi, big time, baby. He just continued to make strides, you know, from the start, and now as he's becoming that veteran guy, it's been fun. The mic gets under the Austin route. Great ball, I'll tell you. Well, I'm excited about what his future holds, and uh, I truly believe the sky's the limit for him. A sliding touchdown catch, the 11th consecutive completion for Jordan Travis. Emotional roller coaster, and watching him, and how our team rallies around him. Um, it, it, it's been fun to see just the full picture.
guy back behind there I can joke with, um, I can go and watch a movie with, you know, I can hang out with, but at the same time, someone that I respect and I want to protect to the best of my ability. <laughs> Once we always say we, we're all we got, we're all we need, and that means everything because it's a brotherhood. We go to work every single day together. Um, so once again, I can't do anything without my guys, so it's all my teammates. So going to the second half, you know, we, we jumped out to where we wanted to be, got a good lead. Uh, you know, with, with our guys, you know, you, you talked about it, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. we got to go out there, we got to continue to play. You know, Jermaine obviously had one of the, uh, um, you know, the great games in the history of this rivalry from a defensive lineman. You know, uh, Jermaine was ready to roll this night, wasn't he? Yes, sir. It's just a guy that came in and was a leader right off the bat. Um, gave everything he had every single day, so. Talk about these 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 moments of uh, you know just you never know you never know where the where the difference is going to be you know and then us going into the fourth quarter right here. Hold it right there, folks. A little extracurricular stuff going on now. Both teams are going out to midfield. So I'm gonna be uh, fully transparent right here. You know, I'm standing right in the middle of both groups, and you know at the time I'm just sitting there in my mind thinking, well, nobody do something that's going to hurt this team. You know, let's make sure we're maintaining our poise. You know, being calm, but then right here, I think to myself, God, this is awesome. <laughs> I mean, what else could you ask for? You have Florida State, Miami, everybody's at a 50 yard line going into the fourth quarter. Man, this is what college football is all about. The enmity and the animus becoming apparent here as we start the fourth quarter. So, uh, you know, this is one of those moments. You know, you, you were down five. You know, we knew we had, uh, we had our three timeouts. They have the ball, five minutes to go. All right, we need a stop. Then we get down to a third and four. You know, this is probably one of my one of my favorite plays. You know that that we've had since I've been here. You know, in this moment, all they have to do is get a first down, and we're going to be in a tough situation. Uh, you know, even just you know, with the amount of time that's left on the clock. From the other side, great effort, great speed. You know, able to finish the play. You know, forcing the fourth down stop, and knowing we're going to get the ball back. Pretty excited to be on the sideline once you saw that punt team run out. Heck yeah, yes sir, I was so ready. All the emotions that uh, that show up in that game and to come down to a two minute drive. So the great thing about football is you you know every situation is gonna be unique to itself. How do you handle those moments? I honestly don't think about it. Um, I treat every play as its own play. Um, I try not to get caught up in the time and the, the atmosphere or the score. So I just try to keep focus on the play that's in front of me. It was fun just watching Jordan kind of slow down, let the game slow down and come to him a little bit. And, and all the details that you work on throughout the week, throughout the season, up until that point, um, kind of come to fruition right there in that moment. Fish when I was younger. My older brother fished a little bit. We're gonna try to go catch some fish today. Uh, when I'm out here, I just try to get away. I feel like the sport that we play is so stressful. Um, and we think about football seven days a week. So I think the one day that we have off, just coming out here, just getting my mind off of everything, not thinking about football at all, I feel like it's so important. Especially playing quarterback, I mean, that's all you think about all the time. Uh, there's not much time for anything else. Uh, so just coming out here, I usually have my country music going and I just relax. I don't even have pliers. I feel like just managing your stress, I think that's the biggest thing for me is just managing stress. Um, and just trying to have a normal lifestyle like everybody else. Just find time in the day to do something different, that's it. I could do this all day. Um, my family thinks it's funny because I'm, I'll be gone for six hours. I'll come back and they ask me how many fish I caught and I'll tell them one or two. <laughs> they have no idea how I'm there for the whole day, but I'm out here. I just reminisce on the great times, um, the blessings, how blessed I am just to wake up every single day and have opportunities to play football, have opportunities to come out here and fish. Yeah, I'm blessed, and it's all the man upstairs, so I'm thankful.
All right, so now talk to me about it. And now you get a chance to, to go out there, two minute drive, down five. All right, you got a couple timeouts. Uh, you got a couple timeouts left. Well, man, what are you thinking as you're taking the field right now? Um, I can fulfill one of my biggest dreams right here. Um, I just remember before the drive, um, just run, running up to Andrew and just telling him, like, as you could see, his head was down um, because we had a miscommunication early in the game. Um, so I just ran up to him and said, "Bro, the ball is coming back to you. Um, have confidence in yourself." Like his head was down. He looked at me and dabbed me up and said, "All right, let's go." And I go back all the time on YouTube. I go back and watch the game, and I just think about, like, man, I was really in the game against that. And don't give us a shot. We got man to man on the top end of the box. See what Jordan Travis could do here. You know you're going to have to throw the ball with 2:19 to go, two timeouts. You got to go 80 yards. Trying to keep the old line calm. You can see in their eyes they're ready to go. Get out there, yes sir. So you start first play, first play of the drive. All right, you got to you know, five men, five men out. You know, putting the ball in your hands. Okay, uh, you know, obviously you get get a great read. You get the one on one you've been waiting for. You got Jakai, you uh, Jakai Douglas, you know, in the slot uh, versus a, a freshman safety. I mean. You know, did, did you see it immediately? Right away. Um, just want to give my guy a chance. I mean, it's a guy that comes to work every single day. I always has a positive mindset. Um, so I just want to give him a chance, and he made a fantastic play. And I think you gave him a pretty good chance, putting it right there, <laughs> 40 yards down the field on his outside shoulder. Uh, pretty excited when he saw him catch it, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I was pumped. The snap, George Travis throws a pass downfield. Over the receiver there. Caught ball to the 50, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. Inside the 25-yard line. What a throw by Jordan Travis and Ja'Kai Douglas. Well, we were talking to Ja'Kai afterwards. I man, what were you thinking uh, when that ball was in the air? He, he told me, hey, just don't drop it. And I was like, man, that's not the attitude. <laughs> just go score. The defense had disguised up something else, but like during the play, I, I, had, I had to know I had to get open. And uh, I just seen the ball, and I put my hands out and caught it. You know, you talk about your growth, all the training, all the all the the, the work that goes into it, and uh, you know, it was a proud moment for me as a coach you know, on the sideline, just seeing you execute there. Uh, um, you know, being able to, to to work and execute, and then you know, like I said, we faced a little adversity in that drive. You have a fourth and 14. But I know that the pressure that you feel in that situation is enormous, and you know, he stepped in and, and made some unbelievable throws. Right, you're, you're there in a fourth down, fourth down situation. All right, once again, you got you to lead me through this one. I mean, honestly, before the snap, I knew we were going to complete this dig. Um, I was 100% sure. Came fourth down, I was like, hey, but we ain't got nothing to lose right here, boy. This is the last drive. We got to do all we can. So now fourth and 14 with 105 to go. I just dropped back. I had the O line made a fantastic pocket, and you can't ask for anything better than that. Um, we had two post routes on the inside, and I was just trying to hit windows on the dig, and saw that guy, number 23, playing flat footed, and I knew I had a window behind him. A flat footed shoulder square, right? Yes, sir. Unbelievable. It's one of my favorite throws in my coaching career that I've got to see a quarterback make. Square shoulders, just like we talk about. Unbelievable job of throwing it in behind. Good to see guys excited. Oh, my boy Jay Trey threw that dot, boy. I was like, ooh, we were turned, boy. I'll tell you, we were We thought, we, first of all, we already thought we won the game. Caught Parchment down to the one. When you need it the most, Jordan Travis steps up and he uses his arm on fourth and 14. All right, then we go and basically call quarterback sneak. And we all tell you in my thought, right, this is one of those situations, you know, they've got, they've got multiple timeouts. All right, for us, you know, how is this going to look? Right? Do we, if we score, you know, this is one of the times you, you have a play call, which you're really okay with not scoring because now you put the pressure on them. Then it, then it comes down to it. I think this was right after, right after a timeout, the guys came over to the side and, uh, you know, this is uh, it's one, of the, one of the great plays that will be remembered for, for, be remembered for a long time. It's second down and goal from now half the length of a football. I Man, I was so hyped, Dan, on that, on that, on that one. Man, this is when the dogs had to come out, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I looked to my, my left and to my right. I fist bumped Robert Scott and I fist bumped Maurice, and we got the job done. If you walked out of there at Doe Campbell, you'd still see the cleat marks on the ground. Um, and you'd see that the push that we made, the effort. You know, the, the, the trench marks that were left on the field from the, from the way our <laughs> offensive line guys were, were, uh, were uh, you know, driving in behind Dylan Gibbons, you know, Robert Scott, you see the, the push. You know, I, love seeing, I love seeing Jay Sean and uh, you know, Kentron pushing you in and uh, 
Pretty special. You know, you got in on that one, right? Yes, sir, I did. Nice. I did. Get on 75's back and let him work. Um, Dylan worked so hard all year. Um, fought through a lot of adversity and just get on his back and go. Jordan Travis, Jordan Travis. Spell it any which way you want. This game belongs to the kid wearing number 13. Right here, the clock's running. Right, they catch the ball. All right, we make the tackle. Knowing that the clock is, you know, it, it rolled down. I think it was th uh, two seconds left on the clock, and we saw them signaling spike, spike, spike. But you know, anytime it's anytime it's under uh, three seconds, you can't kill it. When they killed it, pretty we good. All, we all knew because uh, Friday focus meetings, uh, we always go over little situations like this. I didn't know that you couldn't snap the ball with three seconds before our meetings. So as soon as he snapped and I saw two seconds on the clock, I already knew it was over. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good feeling, and uh, that was a it's a that's a moment that you remember forever. Knowles win, Knowles win. The Seminoles have knocked off the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, this is one that uh, you all four of the state Seminoles are, are going to know, and uh, you know, this is a game that you you'll remember every one of these, and to be able to finish it the way that we finished it. I was just so proud of this team, so proud of you. I mean, just the, the response that we talk about. Uh, you know, it, was, it was hard earned, but uh, it's, it's what we do it for. 100%. 100%. See them hanging out more, you see them together. I mean, I walk in the meeting room, they're already there. All right, so we want to walk. I'll take it, baby. Quick, quick. Man, working on my technique, so in the game I won't be sorry, you know. Enforcing the standard, not only for all of Florida State football, but within the offensive line position.